This is Larry Stein with the Texas A&M MicroLife Extension Service. Today we're going to talk about the four flap, better known as banana graft. I often call it the homeowner graft because typically you don't have to cut the entire tree down as you do with the inlay bark graft. To do the four flap, four flap graft, you need a few simple tools. Obviously, you need to have some dormant stored graft wood that will be the same size as the tree you're going to put it on. You need a, some aluminum foil, plastic bag, a sharp knife, a saw, some kind of shears, and some budding or grafting tape. The key with this technique, in addition, is to have a bigger, vigorously growing young pecan tree where you have selected wood the same size as the tree, which we are showing you in this particular picture. Uh, the stick on the right is actually the tree, and the graft wood is on the left. And so you see that the graft wood is, ex is exactly the same size as the tree. And so we cut the tree off directly below where that graft stick sits, because it's the exact same size. So we cut the tree off and we slip a little rubber band down on the tree side and which we're showing you in this particular picture right here. So we've cut the tree off, we've now made a T on top of the tree. You see the knife blades, the knife indention blades there. So now we're going to cut into the bark with our knife on all four sides. So we're showing you this right here. There's one cut already made. We're making another cut, and you see the little rubber band down below where the cut stops, and that's going to be our third hand when we insert the graft stick onto the tree. And there, you see how the bark flaps peel back, and so that's where it gets the name, the graft gets the name, banana graft, and so we make sure they peel down, and then we roll the little rubber band back up to hold them in tight in place. Now we work on our graft stick. And this is a typical graft stick. It's the same size as the tree. We cut the end of the wood off because it was not sealed and we need to get down to fresh live tissue. Then we're going to make four cuts into the stick and leave a little sliver of bark in between. There is an end view of the stick. And you see the four slivers of bark there on the four corners. And then what we do is we pull down the flaps of bark and hold the flaps down and carefully cut out the center of the tree. And once we cut out the center of the tree, our four flaps are left. We insert the little stick into the tree. We pull the rubber band up. And you can see how the sliver of bark of the graft stick lines up in between the bark flaps. And then what we do is we wrap the entire graft up. I typically start at the base, wrap all the way to the top, and then wrap all the way back to the bottom, pulling it extremely tight. When you go up as you wrap, you want to be careful that you don't knock the flaps out of place, that they stay perfectly in place. Then we cover the graft area with aluminum foil, putting the shiny side out. And this reflects light, keeps the temperature down. And then we cover the area with a poly bag. We cut the corner off, pull the bag down, and tie the bag off at the top, as well as at the base. We want to make sure that we only have wood that's covered with foil inside of the bag when we tie it off. We don't want to have exposed wood inside the bag. Last deal we do is we seal the top of the graft with a little bit of glue and then we want this graft to sit there for at least two to three weeks. We need at least two to three weeks for the healing process to take place, for the tree and cyan to grow together, and so if the graft starts to grow in, say, one week, ten days, the union has probably not taken place. So it's not unusual for these grafts to sit there two, three, maybe even four weeks. 
After four weeks, they begin to bud out. And so you see the shoot coming out on the tree there. And when those shoots get to be about four to six inches tall, you can cut the ties that hold the bag and the foil on if you like. You also can leave them on the entire first year and think, then take all of this off the second year. Here is a completed union of a four flap graft. This graft is probably two years old. You see where the rough bark is and the smooth bark starts. That's where the union has taken place. So the four flap graft works extremely well on small trees. You know, pencil size up to say a half inch in diameter. You can do it on larger limbs as long as you have larger graft wood. A lot of people will use this technique to graft up in the tops of the tree when they've cut back limbs and had new shoots come out. So it has a lot of advantages. It's a, it's a very strong graft initially and so I would encourage you to try this graft if you have small young pecan trees.